Welcome to another Forge Hub video. This is Psychodoc, and today I'm going to show you guys how to script physical triggers in Halo 5's Forge mode. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use this little switch on the ground. I'm going to walk over it, and it's going to cause this door to open. So this is actually a pretty simple trick. Uh, Martian Mall Cop and I actually spent a lot of time experimenting with very complex methods of achieving this. And then uh, Dr. Sammy D came around and uh, gave us a suggestion to try a method more similar to this, and it works great. So thanks to both of those guys for helping me with this idea though. Anyway. Uh, how this is going to work is we have a one by one by one invisible barrier here and this barrier is set to normal physics so I can disturb it by walking into it. Now ideally I would have it set up so that once it was disturbed it would despawn and send a message to the doors upon despawn. However, on disturbance despawning does not seem to work in all of my tests. So we're doing it a little bit differently. So what we're doing is we're going to disturb this block. A second after we disturb it, it's going to respawn. And when it respawns, it's going to message the doors to open. And it's also going to message our whale over here to count down a timer. And after that timer counts down, the whale will send the doors a message to close. So the whale is actually just a simple interactive timer like the ones I covered in a video the other day. The doors are just simple scripted doors like Jake covered a few days ago as well. The block is uh, the only thing that's new here, but I'll show you how to set all this stuff up. So first of all, if we go into the blocks properties, you can see that we have a respawn on disturbance of one second. So if I push this block off of its pad, it will respawn a second later. And then we have on spawn, we're going to change the power set Bravo to the on state. Now the doors are listening to power set Bravo. And when power set Bravo is turned on, they perform a move offset to open. When power state Bravo is turned off, they will perform a position reset to return to their home position. So the other thing that this block is doing is on spawn also, it's sending a message on alpha and the space whale is listening on alpha and it says when it receives that message it will despawn and five seconds later it will respawn and on spawn it will change the power set bravo to off so what i'm saying is when i disturb this a second later it sends a message tells the doors to open tells the timer to count down and when the timer counts down the doors are told to close again so there is one shortcoming with this method, and that is that if I kick this block, but I remain standing here, it won't respawn because I am blocking it from doing so. So the second I get off here, the door is going to open once it respawns. And there's also that little bit of a delay as well, because again, we're, we're operating on a one second timer because that's, that's the shortest we can do but it still works pretty nicely. So if I wanted to, I could have another trigger like this uh, on the other side of the doors so you can open them from either side. I don't have to make the doors close five seconds later. That's just how I have it set up for this example. Uh, you don't have to place a decal under it, it, so it could be an invisible physical trigger. You can do it however you want. But anyway, I hope you guys find this helpful. I know it's not quite ideal, but until we get uh, trigger functionality built into the scripting system in Forge. I think this is a pretty good workaround. So I hope you guys find this helpful, and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with using this trick. So this has been PsychoDuck with the Forge Hub video team, and I thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.